All right, guys. Um, today I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, rotor pan. A bit more of a description about it, how it works. So I'll get this out here. You might have seen me last video where I did some stuff with the rotor pan. So this is the base, just here. Has this little bit of a dish bit at the bottom. What happens is. I use a 10 litre bucket and I'll demonstrate how I use it. So that fits in just like that. So the base is fairly, you know, just it doesn't spin. So it's very hard to get it to spin when you put this on. You've got the top part of the pan, which has got a screen. And then underneath, it has this flap. What that flap does is the lighter material that goes up into the dish gets flung off the sides as these agitators there's three of them here so the material goes through the screen gets funneled down into this part into the lowest part of the of this dish and then when you spin it backwards and forwards it's just like when you're uh, stratifying your gold pan now what I do, I use it in this bucket. So you just sit it in. Once that's in there, set the dish in. And then this goes on top. And what I like to do is run one bucket of material like this at a time and then pull it out. What I am going to do today, just to prove that it does work. Now I don't know if there's any gold in that dirt, but there's a bit of gold there. So I'm just going to chuck that in. I'm pretty confident I'll just move it around so that you can see it's in there. They moved around. And then, hopefully I don't drop it out of here. Just chuck the stuff in. Now obviously this is good if you're crevicing or something like that. You can fill it up with material as you're going along. Have it nearby. Um, fill it up with material. Now, who's to say if the gold's there or not now? This is all river rock, so it's there's a lot of heavies in here, ironstone, things like that, some larger rocks, it's just a it's just a mix. And because it is a bit of a mix, you know, it's a bit of a bargo to scoop out. But once you got that fairly reasonably full, you just pretty much Rotating it backwards and forwards. That gets the agitation happening. We have these larger oxygen in the pan here. They can just come out. Like you can lift the whole screen out if you wanted to. But I just think it's easier to just get them out this way than trying to get the screen back in. So all your larger rocks are aren't going to go through the screen you can remove. There's still a fair few of them here. Now alternatively you can just really just pull straight in like that. Don't have to use the scoop. So once you've got a bucket of material, same deal. These larger rocks aren't going to go through the screen, so just get them out of the way. Just spin that a bit more. Goal should have fallen through by now. Alright, just get a bit of 
water. Make sure this bucket's clean. Not that I'm expecting there was any gold. Probably going to be only that one piece of gold that I threw in there. Now what I'll do is... Tip the rocks out of there. Spin this again. Now, with this final go, what I will do is just lift the screen out. That's a screen. The rest of the uh, rocks have come through. Now, I'll get this uh, base plate. Lift that up. So there are the materials that are left. I'll get them, I'll dump them into this pan. Now, the gold's probably going to be in this sludgy bit at the bottom. And if it's not, it's in your blue bucket, but obviously that's not what you're wanting to do in the creek. So, you can put this screen back in. I mean, not screen, you can put the base plate back into your bucket. Then, I'll just tip this water out. Now you can do this, you don't have to. Small pen. Get a scoop. And then what you can do is pan back into your um, bucket and back into that base plate. So if you're a bit unsure, you're panning, or you think you might miss some gold, you don't want to do it in the creek, you can just do it back in back in that base plate and you can uh, repan it if you want to you can alternatively just pan into another a larger pan as well so I'll just pan this stuff fairly quick because I am looking for a large piece of gold or a larger bit rather than a small bit but I will just check just in case and yeah, nothing in that All right, can see um, the bit of gold in this pan. Just pan this out. All right, just in the top of the pan there. Should be able to see that. So it just proves the thing works. You get that gold out of there. Um, yeah, so it just proves that the pan works. I can go through the rest of that material. I'm unsure if there's any gold in there, I'll do that. But there's just a little demo. Um, I don't sell this thing. I don't, I'm not promoting it in any way. Um, just something that I've got that I use. And obviously with the uh, bucket, um, 
you don't need a lot of water, especially at the moment in Australia. We don't have much, we only have puddles, unless uh, you go to some of the big rivers, but a lot of them are on the exempt list. So, um, yeah, just a little quick demo. Hope you enjoy. Um, tell them any questions, more than happy to answer them. Um, until the next time, I'll uh, see you all later.